Yo, 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 what's up, world? What's up, world? It's your boy, Fresh Off Horn, back with another episode of Player Talk. Hope y'all missed me out there. I definitely missed y'all. As usual, hope y'all been staying on that grind, staying ambitious, and remaining player at all times. All right, today's topic, man, we're going to talk about something that's been buzzing on the internet for about the past few days, about the past week. Um, it's a it's a uh, clip that went viral about a uh, a guy. He brought his he brought his um his his son some food from McDonald's to uh, his his baby mama crib. Uh, she was there. She had his son, and she had like a few other kids of her own that he wasn't the father of. So he brings the uh he brings his son some some food from McDonald's or whatever and she like meets him at the door like look look at look at him I bet you he only got one one thing in that bag for his son and he don't have nothing else to feed my other kids which I'm gonna remind you they're not his kids so uh yeah she felt some type of way about that like she was making an argument, like if you're gonna bring one child something, you gotta, you know, feed all the kids or whatever. Now, uh, I was looking at some of the comments online or whatever, and you know, they went both ways. Uh, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people were saying, like, they, they agree with her, like, you know, if you're gonna feed one child, uh, you gotta feed them all, no matter whether. Um, those are your kids or not. And then a lot of people was, you know, going the other way with it. Like, you know, if those not his kids, then why should he be responsible for feeding them? Now, um, yeah, uh, this, this like sparked a big debate online, you know, you know, uh, the internet, you know, they can divide us so easily you know and it's just one of the new things <laughs> to do it you know you just so easily distracted by by everything you know so i just figured i'd you know voice my opinion on the on the on the subject or whatever oh uh, yeah man like in in my opinion i i'm a side with i'm a side with the guy you know the guy he he's doing what he's supposed to do as a father, which is you know feeding and taking care of his kids. You know, like if if those other kids aren't his, why should he be responsible for for you know doing anything for them? Um, it wouldn't be wrong for him to. It wouldn't. It wouldn't have been if he had to showed up with food for all the kids you know that's that's cool that's you know that would have been a gesture out of the kindness of his heart you know but he's not obligated to do to do anything for any kids that aren't his now i want to pose the question to the ladies that was you know going against that like if if you was dating um if you had a child by a guy with other kids and um, you talk to your child while he was, you know, being watched by the father. If you talk to your child and uh, you said, I'm hungry, can you bring me something to eat? You know, that's um, like, do you feel obligated to bring him, bring your child in? Say the, say the father has three other kids or whatever. Do you feel obligated to, to bring food for all the kids? Now, just like the others, just like the other way around, you know, you could do it as a kind gesture. You know, you could, you know, bring like a little family meal, you know, little, little ten piece from KFC, Popeyes, whatever. You know, that's which is cool. You know, that's that's great. Thank you. But, you know, are you do you feel like you're obligated to do that? You know, I really want to know because, you know, they fighting so hard on why didn't you bring the other kids food? I want to know if it's an obligation for you too, or is it like a double standard for guys, you know? Now with this situation, man, like to me, the first red flag is 
if 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 we share a custody of a child and and that child is in your care for whatever amount of time, it would be a red flag to me if my child has to call me and ask me to even bring him food in the first place because why why do I have to bring you food if you're in the ch if you're in the care of your other parent why isn't food provided by the other parent why do I have to stop doing what I'm doing to bring you food I could be working I could be doing whatever you know this is my break you know, to get whatever I need done or just leisure time. You know what I'm saying? I probably had the child all week. You know, this your day or a few days or whatever to get the child. You can't, like, feed the child? That's That that don't make sense to me. You know, like, and, and if you're incapable of feeding the child, then we could just stop all, the, all this, you know, co-parenting. Like, you know, we could stop all the joint custody stuff and just, you know, just let me have you know, all the rights to the child, you know what I'm saying, like, if you can't feed them, why should the child even be able to come to your house, like, you know, in a court system, they would, they, they would call that being an unfit parent, right, you know, or is that just in favor of the mother, like, do that, is that like a double standard too, like, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, you take that to court and, you know, a woman say you can't feed the child, like the father can't feed the children, you know, the judge going to be like, okay, well, you know, if you're not a, a able to at least provide food for the, for the child, what can you provide? You know, like, and then that goes back to a lot of like, uh, like an, another topic, like, you know, about what, you know, what, what you bring into the table in a relationship, you know, and even a step further, when you like, when there's kids involved, you know, it takes two parents to, to, to raise a child, you know, even with teaching them stuff financially and, you know, feeding them and all of that, you know, like if you can't feed my child, like that's, that's, that's like a huge red flag. Like if I got to bring my child food to your house where you supposed to be feeding and taking care of and, and looking after him. I don't even really want him to or her to even come to your house. You know, if I got to feed you and all of that, you might as well just stay at home with me. What are you there for? Like, that's like totally absurd to me, you know. But like, man, it's it's like. It's like. Go in your room, boo. Go in your room. Go in your room. It's like. A lot of women just feel obligated to, like, like they feel like men are just obligated to do a lot of things that, you know, they simply <laughs> don't have to, you know, they, they simply don't have to. And then on the video, the young lady was like, you knew what, what, what it was when, when we had kids, like, and the, the guy replied, like, no, I didn't. Like, this wasn't no contract. Like, you know, if we have kids and you got to feed my kids, too. And, like, come on. That's that's crazy. So, so that leads me to believe, like, you know, um, since I got to feed your kids, too. Like, when, when, when holidays and all Christmas and all of that come around... Uh, I gotta, I gotta buy your kids gifts to match my, my child too. Like Easter roll around, I gotta buy your kids Easter baskets too. Like, you know, the holidays, I gotta buy your kids, um, outfits and all of that too. You know, the 4th of July, I gotta buy, buy your kids the, the, uh, American flag outfit too, huh? Like, that's just, that's just ridiculous to me. And, and I really don't believe that women do that. I, I really have a hard... I mean, it, it might be some out there, but I really have a hard time, you know, seeing it. But, like, man, it's just... Why 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 do why do women put such a burden, you know, on, on these guys, man, with, with, with these kids? Like, you know, men go through enough as it is. You know, just just being able to, to be... In, in in their kids' lives 
like, you know, watching a video and, you know, listening to some of the stuff that the young lady was saying, like, man, like, I, I can only imagine the stuff that this guy goes through with even just being able to be around his, his kid, like, you know what I'm saying, like, after that fallout, man, he, she probably, she probably don't even want him to see the kid no more, like, you know what I'm saying, like, just because of her shortcomings, like, so, like, all the kids in that hungry, like, you know, that's like a DCFS case, you know what I'm saying, like, how you got all these kids in here, and you, you can't feed them, and then she talking about, you know, I don't get my EBT until such and such day. So you mean to tell me like all these kids in here going to starve until you until you get your your food stamps? Come on, that's that's just that's ridiculous, man. Come on, ladies. Y'all got to do better than that now. Y'all got to do better than that, man. You know, like, come on, you got to feed the kids. I don't care what you got to do, man. You know, and, hey, you can listen to, like, some, some Megan Thee Stallion, you know, some Cardi B or something. They'll tell you how to, you know, get get, get you some money if, <laughs> if that's what it comes down to, man. Because, you know, guys, we we do a lot. We we, we got to feed the kids, man. Oh, we, we, we take a lot of risks and, you know, do a lot of legal stuff just to, you know, just to put food on the table, man. You know, we got to make sure them kids eat, you feel me? So... We, we risk a lot, man, and, and 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 I feel like females, mothers, you know, you gotta do the same, man. You know, you gotta, you can't be, you can't just be waiting around for for a handout, you know, waiting around for your food stamps, you know, to to eat. You know, you living your whole life expecting a handout, man. That's 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 a sad way to live, man, and and it's real sad that a lot of our um. A lot of our a lot of our ladies out here are like that, man. Like, you know, they don't wanna work. They don't wanna they don't wanna really get up and and be providers to these kids that they making. You know, everybody wanna um have this dream life or fantasy life where, you know, they just sit at home and don't have to work and and, you know, just reap all the benefits. You know, like the father just supposed to bend over backwards for them, the kids, and their kids outside of the relationship, like, which makes no sense at all to me. Now, you know what I'm saying? I'm not disagreeing with that with that concept or whatever. Like, you know, it's cool to be a, a stay-at-home wife or whatever, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of responsibilities in that, too. You know, that just don't mean you just get a free pass at life. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you still got to you still got to put in you still got to put in some type of work, you know, in, in some in, in a lot of different aspects. Give me a second. boo. How come? So, yeah, like that's just real. It's real selfish. And it's and, and, and it is it's just not a, a good influence on that child. You know, it. That just teaches the kids to just grow up and, and not work for what they want or what they need and to wait on a handout, you know? Like, that teach the kids, like, you ain't got to go work for what you, for, to put food on your table. You know, go get you a, go get you a food stamp card, you know? Or, 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 you know, teaching your daughter, like, you know, you ain't got to work for nothing. You know, you could just have a man pay your way. You know, even though this man ain't got no ties to these kids, you know, hey, he's a man. He he laid down with you, so now, you know, he just stuck with you and all all your responsibilities, you know, for the rest of his life. That's totally absurd. Come on, ladies, get it together. That's not realistic at all. You know, y'all y'all really reaching with this one. You know, and man, I I just I. You know, it's it's a it's kind of funny in a sense, and but at the same time, it's kind it's sad, man. It's just real sad, like the mentality of a lot of people. You know, uh, is you know, like with that mentality, man, you'll never get nowhere in life, and it's just another way to, you know, it just keeps keeps black love down on the totem pole. You know, it just keep. Keep us at each other next, man. You know, keep us arguing and fighting over simple stuff like like feeding kids, man. Like, really? 
like, come on, you can't, you can't afford like a, a, a few four for fours. You got to wait for your food stamp card, and then you just gonna attack this man for doing what he's supposed to do, what he vowed to do when he, when he laid with you and had his kid and had the children. Hey, you rumble, like, you know, how you gonna, <laughs> how you do that, man? How how can you do that? It's so many deadbeats out there, man. It's so many, it's so many women out there that wish they even had a a, a child's father to that's even willing to 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 feed their kids. You know, it's it's a, it's so many men out here that just dump the kids off on a, on a woman and just say whatever they they have or they gonna eat. You know, whatever you got to do to for them to eat, whatever. They ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm out living my life. You know what I'm saying? That's that's beyond me. You know, so to just bash a man that's, that's, that's taking care of business and actually being a man and actually being a father to his kids, it's just sad, man. And I y'all just got to do better, man. You feel me? Whatever you got to do, man, feed them kids, man. You gotta feed the kids. I don't care if you gotta lay on your back. I don't care if you gotta stand on that corner, grind, whatever, man. Hey, it's 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 a million ways out here to get it, man. You know, some a lot faster, some a lot slower. But at the end of the day, you gotta do what it takes, man, to, to put the food on the table and make sure the kids straight, man. That's what it's about at the end of the day. You feel me? The kids, you know, cause they our future. You feel me? So. Don't don't teach them all the negative, all the negative notions that you got or all, you know, or what, how you was raised or whatever, whatever. You know, it's, that's, it's a new day and, you know, it's a new beginning, man. It's, you got to teach them a better way. Teach them to be better. Teach them to be better than us, you know. So, yeah, I just wanted to touch bases on that, man, since I've been seeing it all over the Internet all week, you know. Uh, and, you know, as always, man, until next time, y'all stay on that grind, man. Stay ambitious, you know. Stay doing the right things, you know. Stay positive, you know. Look out for one another, man. Family first. All that good stuff, man. Love yourself and love one another, man. And always keep it player. Remain player at all times, you feel me? And, you know, just a little reminder, I will... Be dropping new music soon, and I will be performing at Chicago Mini Fest at on October six at um the Underground Lounge on Newport Street downtown Chicago. Y'all can check out all my social medias. I got links to uh buy tickets. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just want to thank everybody. Show some appreciation for y'all, man, for rocking with me. You know, I've been going through a little rough patch lately, but, you know, I'm going to fight through. Fight through it and, uh, you know, keep pumping out great music and great content for y'all, man. Y'all just stick with me, man. There's more to come. We can only go up from here. All right, man. Peace.